All right, everybody, welcome back to a new series that I will be starting on my YouTube channel, where today, guys, my goal is to review every single WrestleMania that there's been. There's 40 WrestleManias, so yeah, this is going to be a long time. Guys, I want to keep... <laughs> no, I can't talk. I want to tell you guys something, though. I am nowhere even close to having all the WrestleManias. I think I only have about maybe three WrestleManias in my collection. I kind of just started collecting wrestling DVDs. Um... I'm going to get more, obviously. My goal is to get every single WrestleMania on DVD. Now that WWE has officially ended DVDs, uh, I can get everything now. So, we're going to start off with WrestleMania 33. Uh, I wanted to start off with this one because it's the oldest WrestleMania I have in my collection. And, uh, yeah. So, obviously, this WrestleMania was ten times better than WrestleMania 32. That WrestleMania was hot garbage. Uh... There was, I mean, it was okay for me. It wasn't, it was honestly bad. I honestly, probably my least favorite WrestleMania. Um, the, it was, yeah, it was horrible. I didn't like it. Um, there were some good matches though, but then when you had Shaq coming out, spoiler alert, that was just so stupid. I didn't like the WrestleMania. I think the highlight of the night of WrestleMania 32 was when Shane McMahon almost killed himself jumping off of the 20 foot cell into the table. That was pretty cool. But other than that, not a fan. But anyways, let's go ahead and show you guys WrestleMania 33. I don't own WrestleMania 32. Probably will get WrestleMania 32, though. Uh, eventually, well, I have to. Uh, but yeah, this is the cover here. I love the cover on this one. WrestleMania 33. I have seen this pay-per-view, and it is actually decent. It's not the greatest WrestleMania ever, but it's not the worst. Um, but you have a list of all of your wrestlers. You've got the New Day up there. I do think, like, I know a lot, I've heard a lot of people say that the roller coaster thing was cheesy. I personally disagree. I think it's really cool. Um, it does look a little bit cheesy, but I think it's actually really cool. Um, but as you see, you got all your wrestlers there. The Ultimate Thrill Ride. This cover is beautiful, man. I love it. Three disc set down there. Uh, yeah, I love this. This is a beautiful set. Um, this is a DVD because I don't really get Blu-rays because I think Blu-rays are ugly. In my opinion, I like the DVDs more. But when you turn to the spine, here's what you have. You got WrestleMania 2017, three-disc set. You have the New Day up there. Uh, I remember the New Day was like my first favorite tag team. They're all right. I'm not a big fan of the New Day now, but they're a good team, I guess. Here's the back. You got all of your screenshots amazing night for wrestlemania 33 i thought this was a pretty decent wrestlemania you have taker there on the top you got brock with the title and paul Heyman. you got seth there charlotte roman nikki uh, john cena new day there in the very back orton and this also includes the wwe hall of fame 2017 and the approximate runtime on this is about eight and a half hours this is a TV PG, and this release came out in 2017. So, when you open it up, you do have this little um, Wrestle Crate promo thing that it came with. Uh, yeah. Um, and then here you have your screenshots. You got probably my favorite match of the night, which was Triple H versus Seth Rollins. You have Stephanie there and Triple H on the, um, on the motorcycle there. Not motorcycle, but, you know, bike. I'm not going to call it a motorcycle. I mean, it's kind of motorcycle, but you got Seth Rollins and Triple H. You got Stephanie when she went through the table um, on accident, by the way. You got Taker there walking in the very long ramp. I This is probably my favorite WrestleMania stage of all time. Um, seriously, I just love, not my all time, but it is an amazing stage. I love the stage. Um... This is a very cool stage. Obviously, this WrestleMania was hosted in Alerta, Orlando, Orlando, Florida. So that was pretty cool. Um, at the time, I was not watching wrestling, so I did not watch this live. Uh, but yeah, you got Taker there and Roman. Pretty cool. You got Roman and Undertaker. Pretty cool. Uh, this was kind of when Undertaker was just honestly just dying. I'm like, this dude was, oh my, this dude's going to pass out. This. From 2000, probably 2009, 2009 is when Undertaker started becoming my least favorite wrestler in performance-wise. He's always going to be my favorite wrestler of all time, but my least favorite era of Undertaker because he's just, it was obviously, yeah, it was bad. I mean, he was having some of the most 
boring matches. I mean, they weren't boring. It was just kind of, you could tell that the dude was going to pass out. I mean, it's, you know, he's getting older now. Um, you know, but anyways, pretty cool stuff here. So you do have disc one. You do have Chris Jericho. Um, I'm a big Chris Jericho guy. So you have Chris Jericho hitting the Lion Tamer there on Kevin Owens. That was a really good match, actually. You have Shane McMahon. Whoops. Sorry about that. You have Shane McMahon and AJ Styles. I'm a big AJ Styles fan and Shane McMahon fan as well. My favorite from the McMahons is always going to be Stephanie. I love Stephanie from the Attitude Era, especially when, uh, you know, Stone Cold was going crazy. Um, got my ACDC shorts on. But, yeah, so, you know, awesome thumbnails. Here is your first disc, though, so pretty cool. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys the little art there. You have Naomi and Alexa Bliss. Brock Lesnar and overrated Berg. So, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I don't like Goldberg at all. I think he's overrated, in my opinion. I mean, I like his in... Like, I don't know. I like him and I hate him at the same time. Well, I don't hate him, first of all. That's a strong word. I don't hate him. I just... I don't like his in-ring work. I think he's overrated. Um, so, yeah. But anyways, here's a list of the matches. You have the New Day welcoming to the welcome you welcoming you to the WWE universe. You have Shane McMahon for the for the you know Shane McMahon host in the night. Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles. That was the start of the night. Obviously, you have Chris Jericho versus Kevin Owens in a United States Championship match. There, you had a Fatal Four Way Elimination match with Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Charlotte Flair, and Nia Jax. Pretty good match. Um, I'm a big Nia Jax fan. I think she's underrated in my opinion. She's a freaking beast. Um, you know, at the time of the recording, she is king, queen of the ring, so that's cool. Um, you know, you got the Hall of Fame class of 2017. You have a ladder match. This thing can freaking focus. Hold on. Here we go. You have a ladder match with Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, Enzo Moore, and Big Cass versus Cesaro and Sheamus. And this was when the Hardy Boys returned. Very good night, or very good return. You have John Cena and Nikki Bella and Miz and Maurice. I believe they were planning to do Undertaker in um, Cena, but unfortunately, that did not happen. And then we have Seth Rollins and Triple H. My personal favorite match out of all of them on disc one. I'm a big Triple H guy. Call him overrated all you want. I love Triple H. Um, I think he's a great wrestler. And there's your art there, like I said. Pretty cool disc. You have the New Day. So, nice. Now we have disc two, which I do like disc two actually more than disc one because the ye the yellow. Um, yellow and blue, though, does not really match the Orlando Magic. I guess that's... They should have probably went with Orlando Magics, but I'm happy with yellow and blue. I think it's pretty cool color scheme. But here is disc two. You did have Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. Eh, match was okay. Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar in a surprisingly entertaining match. You had... Alexa Bliss, Naomi, Becky Lynch, Mickey James, Natalia, and Carmella. I'm a big Natalia fan. Um, she's an underrated wrestler uh, for sure. You have WWE breaks the Citrus Bulls um, attendance record, and then Roman Reigns versus Undertaker match of the night, definitely, and Hall of Fame inductees there. So you have uh, Cena and Nikki when uh, Cena pr uh, proposed to Nikki Bella. So that was pretty cool. Um, I do think that, uh, you know, it was really cool to see that, um, you know, finally happening. And then, unfortunately, you all know, Cena and Nikki Bella did not work out. And then Bray Wyatt hitting his sister Abigail and Orton. So that was pretty cool. Bray Wyatt, great wrestler. I mean, I've always been a fan of Bray Wyatt. Um, you know, rest in peace, by the way. Um, his Fiend character is a bit overrated, in my opinion. I'm not a big Fiend guy. I remember I used to have been. Um, I just... I, my personal favorite Bray Wyatt's, I mean, the Fiend character is cool, but my personal favorite Bray Wyatt is, you know, when he was hosting, in, you know, in the Wyatt family. And for your extras, you do have the Hall of Fame discs, and these are the people that were introduced in the Hall of Fame. You have the Rock and Roll Express, Ravishing Rick Rude, great uh, wrestler, he underrated for sure. Beth Phoenix, Eric Legrand, Teddy Long, and the best, Kurt Angle. I mean, come on, man. The dude literally won, um, I believe, a medal. Uh... When he had a broken neck. I mean, come on, yeah. Love Kurt Angle. Um, you know, I loved his uh, feud uh, with Austin in the late Attitude Era. That was awesome. But here is, yeah, Sasha Banks, Bailey, 
and, uh, what is it, uh, Charlotte doing the, I think it was like a moonsault, and you have a spoiler there, Hardy Boys winning the tag titles, so, pretty cool to see that, and let's put this little thing in here, this wrestle crate thing back in here, and, yeah, guys, that is it, um, that is the WrestleMania 33 pay-per-view, oh, man, this was a decent pay-per-view, uh, it wasn't the greatest pay-per-view of all time, but it was a good pay-per-view, um, I'm going to go 8 out of 10. I'm not going to go 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately, we don't have WrestleMania 40. I'm so sad. I wish we got WrestleMania 40. Definitely going to have to get a custom copy, though, um, on eBay or somewhere. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, please leave a like. And uh, we'll be doing another part two of this WrestleMania DVD collection series that I'm going to be doing. So, yeah. Bye, guys.